Subscribe to Books on Toast or your favorite books will be banned. I am Ashwini Kumar, Indian English poet, writer and a professor at Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai. And I am also co-founder of Indian Novice Collective. This collective has been set up to translate great or classic novels from Indian languages into English and also popularize, dramatize readings from great Indian classic novels. We are here today to talk about banned books and because we are celebrating, whether you like to celebrate or not, but this is a very important week for all of us as a writer because in this week uh, we talk about uh, and we celebrate uh, you know, books that have been banned for a variety of reasons. So here I am going to talk about uh, five banned books uh, that you must not read and if you read, you read at your own risk, uh, political, legal, social and moral risk. So be careful. So I am going to first talk about uh, a book which you are very familiar, almost everyone is familiar, that's you know Salman Rushdie's most famous book, uh, Satanic Verses. Satanic Verses was published in 1988 and it was Rushdie's fourth novel. But as you know that this novel caused a global outrage, the book was immediately banned and today also the book is banned in almost 88 countries. The reason that you know the book talked about uh, Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Muhammad's internal life, the life in the household, the life he led, you know, around his followers. So the book, you know, many followers of the Islam considered not just outrageous but also blasphemous and it's the first book in the history of literature which has not been just banned by governments of the world but also the book has received a fatwa. The fatwa was, was issued by Islamic revolutionary leader. So Salman Rushdie had to really go underground to save his life. The book is banned, but uh, you know many of us have read the copies of the book, uh, illegal copies, unofficial copies, and in the era of internet and the Google Baba, I think the book is somewhere available. But if you want to read the book and talk about the book in public, it would certainly attract uh, penalty and the legal consequences. The next book is also uh, equally powerful book but also faced the same fate as Rushdie faced. The difference between this book and, and Satanic verses is that uh, this author Perumal Murgan is still around and the ban has been lifted uh, from his book uh, Matru Bhagan and that's translated into One Part Woman. This book was first released in 2013. But the book immediately did not attract any kind of agitation or controversy in terms of banning the book. But three years, four years down the line, the book attracted so much attention and so much controversy, largely due to political mobilization of a particular ideology in, in Tamil Nadu, forcing Perumal Murgan to go into a kind of you know, underground life or a sort of asylum, literary asylum, in which he declared himself dead. So the book is controversial in, in the sense that the book talks about a childless couple, Puna and Kali, and uh, what they do, they opt for a very radical solution out of their married life. Because in the, in the book, it's depicted that there is an ancient ritual. Uh, in that ritual on particular day, in that part of Tamil Nadu, where all the social norms in terms of the marriage and the sexual relationship within the marriage are compromised or diluted for just the night. And in this night, what happens that the Puna is persuaded by her husband to sleep with a stranger and that's allowed as part of this ancient ritual and so that she can become pregnant. So that's the story, you know. But this story caused so much outrage and this outrage was mobilized by a particular political ideology. And the book was immediately banned, but finally the ban was lifted. So the third book, you know, is about uh, a Kannada novel. So as you have seen that uh, in this Perumal Murgan's novel, which is a Tamil novel, so not just the English language has suffered the banning, but Indian regional languages have also suffered of late uh, banning culture, you know. That's very unfortunate and unfair to the writers from regional languages or what we call Indian languages. So this book is written by Yogesh Master. Uh, this Dundi and Dundi was published in 2013. 
immediately you know it provoked uh, some people in karnataka to you know dub the book as irreligious and disparaging lord ganapati in the book you know ganapati is called dundi and dundi is a tribal boy the mother of dundi is also a tribal you know a girijan what they call in the book and and you know, the book shows that you know lord ganapati is a child like but he is also raw and crude in his daily behavior etc etc so and 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 also uh, dundi's mother is having a lot of other multiple lives so the book you know uh, in the beginning the book didn't cause any outrage but again as you have seen in the case of perumal burgan's book uh, one part woman a particular political party and a particular political ideology mobilized people and and created a controversy around lord ganapati so next book is such a long journey is written by a very famous and popular writer vinton mystery indian canadian author and if you remember the book was published in 2010 and was shortlisted for booker award the book in the novel as the critics and the people who raised the controversy around the book and especially by a political party and a big political family here in mumbai that the book shows maharashtrian into a bad light and disparages the local maharashtrian culture the book was not banned by any high court or a local court but the book is a funny story that the book was banned by the university mumbai university but the book is available you can read the book but there is still is a problem if you want to go to the classroom in mumbai university you can't read the book so it's it's a very different kind of banning what we call as a writer we call it a de facto ban you know if you want to read this book in mumbai uh, local train be careful read it enjoy it the next book is interesting because this book is uh, uh, coming from the state of jharkhand it's about tribal homeland and it's about uh, santhal life the book is written by a young doctor hansda sovendra shekhar and the book was also awarded by sahitya academy so what happens in the book uh, that the book uh, depicts uh, is a series of a story the book you know tells us the stories are all built around the life of santhals and especially the life of santhal women and again this book faced uh, a lot of criticism and controversy in jharkhand mobilized by again a particular political ideology and a political party the book was banned initially by the local court and then the book was released afterwards by the high court of jharkhand hansda was suspended hansda faced a lot of challenges um, in the public life in jharkhand but again you know uh, this is something that uh, many mumbaikers or many people in the city are not aware of the lives of santhas birhors and other tribal uh, you know communities in various part of the society so the book uh, compared to other books that we have talked in this week the first book like satanic verses which is about islam and the book about you know maharashtrian life the book about ganapati the book about you know the ancient ritual in tamil nadu this is about the life of santhal and you know their inner lives which can be provocative life this is band books week in this book week what we need to do that we all the writers need to be blasphemous but not too frequently blasphemous occasionally we need to be blasphemous otherwise we will lose the art of expression and especially the art of writing ikwal rightly said kheecho na kamano ko na talwar nikalo jab top muqabil ho akhbar nikalo so in this band books week go and read as many band books as possible